The Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nations held a news conference yesterday calling on the Pope to visit the last standing residential school in Saskatchewan that just closed its doors in 1997. Archbishop Don Bolin of the Regina Archdiocese, who is part of the conference, says the delegates who traveled to Rome and got to hear the Pope speak firsthand described his apology as transformative. Well, it's been said over and over again, the truth and reconciliation final report says apologies are not an end point but a, a starting point and uh, so that the assistance of the Pope in moving us to those next steps is really important. Survivor Roland Desjarlais spent eight years in the school and wanted Archbishop Bolin to see the school and grounds where he describes doing child labor. Well many of us we're on our knees for hours and hours in those gardens, uh, picking bugs and spraying bugs and hoeing potatoes or hilling potatoes. And it was some sort of an experience that uh, we, can't, uh, we can't forget. On the right-hand side over here by the old building over there, there was a, a barn over there and uh, where all the uh, animals were. And many of us got, uh, many of us, uh, got punished over there. We went up into that loft and uh, we came down limping and crawling. Archbishop Bolin says he just returned from Rome, where he says the Pope is in poor health. Bolin believes he may only visit a few Canadian sites this summer. If he can't visit Muskowagon, there are plans in the works to take survivors to wherever the Pope stops. I hope that the visit can address the needs and wounds and concerns of survivors, uh, that it can be a really transformative experience that can, you know, help us to move from apology to direct actions of solidarity. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Saskatoon.